Uh, so my name is Brim, and yeah, it's me. I'm living here in uh, West Bank right now, and I open up the SOC wherever I can. Yeah. My name is John Joffrey Fathom from Juneau, Alaska. I'm Jeff Johns. That's who I am. <laughs> I'm one of the board members for SFC Canada. My name's Clarky, and I'm awesome. I am Nicole Arco, and I am the regional director of SFC Open Arms. Yeah, to me, SFC is all about family, uh, connecting with other people at Strad, love Jesus. Yeah, that's the biggest thing for me, for sure. It's a group of people that can uh, can speak more than one language. The language of Jesus and the language of Shredders. SFC for me is a way to be in constant fellowship with other Christians, which is, I think, huge. It's also a solid way to reach out to people that I care about in a culture that I care about. Uh, Snowboarding culture has been a huge part of my life, something that's always been in my life. It's uh, pretty much shaped me into who I am. And just be able to help people wherever I can, um, to introduce God to people, and also have God as my main focus for snowboarding. It's just amazing to actually have something set up like that. You know what, SFC is a great chance for Christians to go out, snowboard together, have a good time, just to meet people, get connected out in the community with uh, fellow believers. You go have an amazing day, build friendships, and be the light on the mountain. That's, that's the best thing about SFC. SFC to me is all about the community. It's all about the people who speak the same language, who can ride together, who can um, just understand what it's like to live in God's creation and absolutely love it and adore it. I've been involved uh, with Mountain Seasons without a good group of friends to back me up and I didn't like it. And I've been involved with Seasons of Mountain Life with solid groups of friends then those are some of my favorite memories. Yeah, I don't know, I'd say it's, it's probably, I don't know, it's a big, it, it helps have uh, hope for a lot less suck in the future. In fact, you could say, it hope for awesome things. <laughs> Being with people that understand you and understand your language and it's all about the community and that's what it is for me. This weekend, I am most stoked for everyone getting to meet each other. Probably just like getting a solid crew together, praying, hanging out, chatting about what the winter's going to look like. I think that's a solid, like, to actually kind of have a game plan. Um, and just also just get God in His presence, you know, and just to be, you know, praying together, worshiping together, and actually fellowship together. I think that's huge. Uh, this weekend, I hope that this area gets, gets together and makes friends with each other. It's a schedule to go out weekly or bi-weekly or two times a week and make an effort to go preach and teach the gospel on the mountain. Uh, probably meeting everybody because there's a bunch of people coming out of the woodwork. I don't even know where they're coming from. Um, so that's pretty exciting. Pretty pumped to meet. Uh, we'll hang out with a bunch of the Whistler guys again that are here. Uh, we have meeting people. Really. I think it's the biggest thing connecting, connecting with everyone. I think it'll be awesome. And there was really not much of a community in the Okanagan, and I thought I was completely on my own. But to find out there are so many other people that want to like and love Jesus at the same time, like I'm super stoked for this, and I just can't wait to get to know everybody and hang out and have a good weekend. <laughs>